A glimpse into modern logging. When you think of logging, you may think of men on the ground with axes or chainsaws. But the truth is, most modern logging sites are highly mechanized. Most logging jobs have several machines, such as a cutting machine, a skitter, a loader, and a dealer. The cutter. The cutting machine is rather self-explanatory. It cuts trees down in less than a second with a massive spinning buzzsaw and grabs the freshly cut tree with its massive cage-like claws. It then sets the tree somewhere the skitter can pick it up. Skitter. The skitter's job is to move logs from where the cutter set them to the loader. It has large blade-like claws that allow it to pick up multiple logs at once and quickly skid them over to the loader. Skitters also have a bucket on the other side that allow it to smooth out makeshift paths over the rough terrain. The Loader the loader is a large crane-like machine that readies logs for loading and subsequently loads them onto log trucks. To prepare them, it uses an automated saw to make them the necessary length, and it runs them through a delimmer. It then sets them on a stack to wait for log trucks to show up to load them. After logs are loaded, they're shipped on log trucks to all kinds of mills to be processed into different wood products. There are many concerns with the industry though, such as the harm to the environment logging does and the dangerous nature of the job. To address these concerns, I asked industry professionals their thoughts on the issues. I'm Glenn Hendricks and today I'm a forestry consultant. I've been in the forest industry for 55 years and still enjoy it, still working at it. I'm Andrew Hilton. I'm a procurement forester for Silvercraft out of Monticello, Arkansas. Well, my dad was a forest ranger. My mother was a, kept a fire tower. It's all I ever knew. An interest of outdoors, being outside. Um, my, my dad has done this. So I kind of grew up around it. When I first started in forestry, we didn't have safety. You did their cutting with a chainsaw that the tree could fall back on you. The, the, the chainsaw could kick back and cut you. We skidded with tractors, some with protection, some without. It was very dangerous back in the 60s when I first started. But today, it's much safer. It's still a dangerous profession. Anytime there's trees falling, it's dangerous. Absolutely, it's dangerous in the fact that there's a lot of moving parts. Trees are hitting the ground, actually. And there's a lot of caution that needs to be taken. Um, the way we're mechanized now though, and what I mean is we actually have equipment where most of the gentlemen working um, are in a cab. They're in a closed cab. The way we're set up now, there's not as many people as it used to be with actual chainsaws on the ground. It has come a long way as far as safety. It's easier on the, on the people working and there's less, there's less prone. The way we can improve it is just education to the people to let them know what this equipment is actually capable of, how far they need to stay away from it, things like that. And there's always room for improvement. One of our biggest challenges, I think, is educating the public on what we're doing. A lot of people don't like to see you cut trees down. Trees cutting down is necessary. It's a crop. We have to we have to cut them down. But it's uh, educating the public to what you're doing, and getting them to understand the public to what you're doing, and getting them to understand that we're growing a crop, and that it will come back. Um, I would say the biggest is 
a workforce. We have a lot of trouble um, finding people to actually operate, do the jobs. Um, it seems like there's fewer and fewer people going into logging. And again, I think education, to know that there's a lot of really good opportunities out there, would be a, a good thing to see happen. Very sustainable. We have much more timber in Arkansas today than we had when I started 55 years ago. Absolutely. Absolutely. Trees are renewable. Um, we replant nearly everything that we cut down when it's harvested. And I mean, it's something you can actually see growing. It's a, it's a beautiful thing in regard to the fact that you can put something back and it comes back and it's something that you're definitely able to think long term on. Although the logging industry faces many challenges, it seems that the industry has a bright future and that there are many opportunities and advancements coming to the industry.